next comic? Your next comic is one of the finest pieces of ass on the Sacramento dating scene, and she's a phenomenal fucking comic. Give it up for the lovely Danny D, everybody. All right, look, the, the back's gonna be as quiet as they're gonna be. We're out here celebrating her quitting her job today. What? Woo! The American dream. I've always wanted to be a housewife. All I have to do is suck your dick and make dinner? Fuck, I could do that. I could do that. I've been married twice, because I'm a glutton for punishment, yeah. The first husband wanted to play with his Xbox more than my box. So I was like, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Second husband, we were separated, but he did me a big favor. He went ahead and he just died. So now I'm a widow, and that's fucking awesome. You know how much dick I get with that? I just look at the lawnmower sometimes and shed a tear and be like, my husband used to mow the lawn. Oh, it's so good. I'm just kidding, I don't ever do that. I like to fuck younger guys. At that table, I'm looking at you. Three guys, one girl, what's going on there? <laughs> Sounds like a porn I watched earlier. All right, we could just laugh it off. I'll use my imagination, I got a good one. I've got a good imagination, oh. Only any of you guys were wearing gray sweatpants. Is that your boyfriend over there? The one you're sitting closest to? Now let me guess, that's like his brother and that's his brother's friend. Yeah? Boyfriend? Don't fucking lie to me. What? The boyfriend's sister. Okay. All right. Maybe that's, a, that's like a newer age thing I can't follow. I don't know. I'm really high right now at this point. A boyfriend's sister. I got here two hours early so I could get drunk with all these people. Uh, it's kicking in. Well, who are you here with tonight? I didn't know Julian had friends. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. I like you up front though. You're pretty hot. I like you. Do you do girl stuff? She's like, I'm not even going to interact with you. That's all right. That's okay. That's okay. My best friend and I, we like to tag team the young ones. Yeah. So, uh, we like to go out there and just get like 22, 23 year olds, that deer in headlights look. That's my fucking get down, right? Like, I'm gonna get you. I like you to be scared. So scared. Yeah. I uh, was fucking my, one of my daughter's friends the other day because they all just turned 18 and he did too. I was pretty excited about it. I was like, ride your bike over, park it in the garage. He was like, all right, cool. I was like, I don't want your mom to see since we're friends. You know, we were on the PTA together. Were you ever on the PTA? No, that's cool. I was a good mom for a while, not anymore. Once you have teenagers, I don't think you can be a good mom. I don't lie to my kids. Oh, it's difficult. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I was fucking my daughter's friend last week and he was behind me and he said something really disturbing. He was like, call me daddy. And I was like, hey kiddo, I'll call you son because daddy knows what he's doing. Why don't you just lay down, let mommy take care of this. Mommy's got this, you know. Can't fuck the youth anymore though. I'm tired of providing the alcohol and the pizza and the spot. Ugh. Tinder's rough too though. It told me I had to expand my radius and I was like, I don't want to do that. Let's see, if, let's see how long it takes them. Some of my friends can't handle silence. You guys in the back hear me? That's all right, we're gonna let them do their thing. You guys are listening. Wasn't that awkward? Some people can't handle silence. Sometimes I like to sit there all day in silence. I just have my fucked up thoughts and my personalities with me. That's a rough one, yeah. You guys, I'm really upset. Uh, only the women can feel me on this, the women with big tits in here. I was playing air hockey so aggressively earlier that my wire popped out of my bra. And uh, these tits are like, heavy and expensive you know i didn't buy them but it's expensive to support these titties this one's six eight this one's seven one uh, i used to be five four but now every time i take off my bra i've got to play gravity by john mayer because they're falling down to my knees fuck it a couple years i'm gonna be fucking as tall as danny devito it sucks 
it really sucks. You know, my daughter lives this life of like, it's 2022, you can just go brawless, do what you want. You don't have to be a girl or a boy, just be a thing. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I need a bra. And she's like, no, you don't need a bra. And I'm like, okay. So I come out of the room with this tank top on and she's like, all right, you need a bra. And I'm like, I fucking told you, these are fucking fire hazards, man. I'll knock somebody out. They're bigger than most guys' heads. Like, sir, your head? Wait, one of these tits is bigger than your head. I was thinking about starting, uh, going to Shark Tank and starting a business where men that are on hospice, or women, I'll go both ways, I don't give a shit, that are on hospice and want to die in a nice set of tits. Uh, you know, they'll sign a waiver for five to ten thousand dollars. I'll go over there, they'll be strapped down, I'll just suffocate them. In between my tits, I could get out some aggression. Uh, they could go out in peace. I don't know. I think I could do it. I think I could. I never had a grandpa. So I'd just be like, I'm doing my grandpa a favor. If you had a cool uncle and that's how he wanted to go out, would you be okay with that? He'd have to be really cool. Yeah. We could do it together. You could be there too. You could be there too. If this guy wants to die in a nice set of tits, I'll just take your glasses off and do it. You know, five to ten thousand dollars. That's all I need. Hello, sir. He's cool. Oh man, I love douchebags, you guys. I do. Oh, if you're five, eleven, and three fourths and mad about it, and you have a neck tattoo with your shitty area code on your neck, mm -mm -mm. I have an orange jumpsuit in my trunk I like to carry with me so we can role play. Yeah. If you have a domestic and it's not your fault, I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. You probably have a good story. You're right. Bitches are crazy. I get it. We're all one of them. Red's my favorite color, so red flags are my favorite. Oh! Yeah, my last boyfriend liked me so much, he tried to set me on fire. That was fun. He covered me in gasoline and was like, bitch, you're cheating on me. And I was like, motherfucker, you're married. And uh, I was like, go set your fucking wife on fire. Not your side, bitch. Don't you know how this works? Um, that's the last time I dated a married guy. Yeah. Luckily, though, he didn't set me on fire. I don't think I'd make a good burn victim. I don't think I would. I'd be like, just fucking murder me. Because most of the times I feel like that anyways. So if I was a burn victim on top of that, it would just be horrible. <laughs> that's a fucked up thought. I'm sorry I said that out loud. Sometimes I have fucked up thoughts. It's okay. We all do, right? You have fucked up thoughts? I have fucked up thoughts. I have teenagers. Do you have kids? Oh, smart fucking people over here. You guys swallowed. I have only two kids. I should have a lot more, but I don't. I only have two. Thank God for America. <laughs> don't even have to say it. But uh, at my house, I wanted to make a sign for my kids so they could feel really important. So it says, you two should feel blessed because I aborted the rest. <laughs> yeah. It's my right. It's, I can choose to let my kids know how special they are. They could have had a lot of brothers and sisters, but they don't. Thank God. To medical, new science, and doctors. Fuck. When my daughter was in uh, high school, I didn't want to have to, like, I was just like, no, I'm going to raise her right. So I put a wire hanger on her wall, and I made her watch Mommy Dearest, and I was like, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you if you get pregnant in high school. That's just what I'm going to do. Luckily, I was a big enough whore in front of her. She didn't. She didn't, she's still a virgin. I'm like, yeah, at least that's what she tells me. She's probably not though. Horrible to think about. I went on a Tinder date, you guys, uh, the other day and his mom opened the door and was like, Hunter, your Tinder date's here. And I was like, fuck. How progressive is that mother? Uh, if my kids have dates over, am I gonna be so cool? Like, Noah, your date's here, go bang her out. Oh, probably not, but uh, I, Hunter came out and he grabbed me and he pulled me into his room where I saw a twin size bed. You know, it used to be a bunk bed, but his brother was successful and took the top half with him when he left. This guy fucking stayed a 42 year old man child. But uh, his mom said something that really inspired me to fuck her son that day. She knocked on the wall and was like, I'll turn up the TV so I don't have to hear you guys. And I was like, challenge accepted, bitch. And I was like, Hunter, I'm gonna have sex with you. I need to know your mom's name though. And he was like, for what? And I was like, it's not for you, it's for your mom. And he 
said, her name is Maria. And I said, lay the fuck down, I got this. Uh, so I climbed up on top of him. A couple minutes, we're going, right? Uh, 30 seconds. And I'm like, oh, oh, Maria. Oh, Maria, your son is so good. And he automatically came, because a lot of guys want to fuck their moms, unfortunately. Good thing you don't have kids. Fuck. So weird for me to think about. So weird. I have a 16 year old son. I'm like, you don't want to fuck me, do you? And he's like, you're the worst person in the world. Don't talk to me. I think CPS should take me away. And I was like, they don't want you either. We drive by fire stations sometimes, and I'm like, you want to just drop me off? Because I never dropped you off. Please? I want to go play with firemen. My son's like, can you not tell me these things? Uh, I was trying to tell him the other day that I get more dick now than I did when I was their age. They didn't want to hear it. The looks on your faces are about the looks on their faces. <laughs> like, fuck, that's horrible. Yeah, that's the worst thing you could tell your kid. Actually, I tell my kids a lot worse things. Way worse things, you know? I'm trying to hope someone will take them away. My daughter doesn't have a college plan. That upsets me. I'm not gonna say it's my fault anymore though, because she's 19 now. It's her own fault now. So I'm trying to get her to marry well. You know, I'm like, well then marry for money. Do what I didn't do. Take one for the team. You're still pretty, I just fixed your mouth. Use it wisely. <laughs> one can only hope she's using it wisely. I'm so happy you guys don't have children. I don't know why you, how you guys even know Julian, but I guess he's cool if he's got friends. I just, what I picture for certain guys is when I guess their lifestyle. You know, he's so mysterious. You guys look like three different walks of lives. I'm gonna sit down with you guys later. All right, you guys, I'm Danny D. I appreciate you saying thank you. Keep it going for Danny D, everybody. You know what the problem is? Is uh, So Danny D is, is a wonderful human being, and a lot of the girls that I come across in the online dating, they are, are the same size as Danny D, but they're not anywhere near as funny as she is. So they're, uh, they're all ugly as fuck to me, but not Danny D. One more time for the wonderful Danny D, you guys. Yeah, I like, I like humor on a woman, especially when it's dirty as fuck like Danny. She's like the woman version of me. Fucking A, man. Uh, yeah, so I, I was telling you guys before Danny came up that I can't really do the dating shit much anymore. So lately I've just been relying on watching a lot of pornography. Uh, but the one thing that I despise about pornos is that the titles are always so misleading. You know what I'm saying? I was on Pornhub earlier today and I saw a title of a video that was titled Shy Girl Deep Throats Big Black Cock. I don't know why I'm watching porn on a movie theater screen, but... <laughs> that doesn't sound too shy to me. Oh! Nothing shy about deep throat and big black cock. I, uh, I got mad about that, so I went to the porn store so I could purchase a video. And uh, those titles were pissing me off too, man. I came across another title, it was called No, I'm Your Stepmom 11. You think they would have learned their lesson the first 10 times. You got it on film. You're not supposed to fuck your stepmom. I like porno titles that get right to the point. The 50 man grandma slam. Cause you know what you're getting into. There's 50 men, there's a grandma. There's definitely some slamming. Maybe Mark Snipes in the back telling you guys how much he hates Michael Jackson, or loves him. I don't know. All right, you guys. Uh, we're gonna keep this show going. Are you guys ready for your next comic? Your next comic coming to the stage is a very witty individual. I love talking to her on a daily basis. She's my friend and she's a great comic. Give it up for the wonderful Sarah Dutcher, everybody! Settled in, God. Uh, I love Henry's. It's what I like when you see bars and TV shows, and you're like, 
bars like don't have like that many cool pool tables and that much seating. Like, wow, like I'm not squandering my youth by being here. Uh, <laughs> so I recently celebrated my 11 year wedding anniversary. Wow, normally there's some applause. Thank you. Come on, you guys. That's a long time. I did leave him two years ago. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, like, he actually took the divorce okay. We're still we're still on good terms. Like, this year for his birthday, I got him a really nice card asking if I could still be on his health insurance. Like, I'm still waiting on a response. Uh, but I grew up Mormon, uh, which is why I seem like I'm ready to shake your hand and give you a pamphlet. Uh, uh, like I said, my husband took the divorce okay, but my sister wives were devastated. <laughs> like, uh, uh, Katie is upset because, you know, I baked the best bread, and um, Julia is upset because I was the only one who could make her come. <laughs> Uh, actually, I uh, I did get married 